first headline. On November 24, 2019, Arc System Works announced that they will host the Arc System Works Festival on August 14, 2019 at the Pacifico venue in Yokohama, Japan. Events will include live performances, game demos, tournaments, and more. Fans believe there will be new reveals considering at EVO 2018, it was said that the developer is working on Guilty War-related content. ASW also announced that Kill to La Kill, the game is coming to Nintendo Switch, along with the PS4 and the PC. There you have it, now Pathfinder Kingmaker gets uh, three expansions. Role-playing game Pathfinder Kingmaker launched last month and developer Owlcat Games announced that three new expansions plus a new campaign will be arriving. The first of three DLCs called The Wild Cards is set to arrive December 6th. It adds a new playable class called Kinetesist and a new playable race called uh, Tiflings and a new companion. The second DLC, Barn Holds Lot, will be the new campaign. The third DLC, Beneath the Stolen Lands, adds a new game mode, The Rouge Light, The Endless Dungeon. The second and third DLCs don't have release dates at this time. Now, Battlefleet Gothic update. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2's pre-order beta is set to begin next month, and uh, Focusome Interactive give players a peek at how multiplayer and skirmish modes will work. In a blog post, Focus said that the game will include both 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2 ranked in and ranked matches. There will also be skirmishes against the AI. And randomly generated maps will be available for regular multiplayer and skirmishes plus five capture points and different environmental effects. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 releases in January for PC. Now, Alien Blackout might be the next Alien game. A gaming trademark filed uh, by 20th Century Fox has been discovered, and it looks like it could be the next Alien game. The company fi filed a trademark for the title Alien Blackout, and this comes months after Fox Next Games announced that they are working on a new Alien game. The trademark was filed under game software, computer game, and video game software. We'll have to wait for further details or until Fox Next or 20th Century Fox release official word about this one. Kill a Kill, the game is announced or I have announced as new characters. Nintendo has announced their upcoming anime fighter called Kill a Kill I have during the Arc Revo Japan 2018. The game is in development at A Plus Games. Alongside with the announcement is the news that Raja Kiruin and Tenui Harimi will be added to the game's roster. Right now, the game is still in development and it is expected to launch at sometime in 2019 and it will be available for PC. PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Kill a Kill IF comes uh, from a popular game and the manga series for a button smashing game. <laughs> Now we have CD Project Red Update. 
During a recent investor presentation, City Project Red CEO Adam Kaczynski was asked if they believe that Cyberpunk 2077 can score as high as Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption 2. He answered that they are aiming for that to be as refined as Red Dead Redemption 2 or any of the games that Rockstar is producing. He also added that games usually opt for hit releases and usually don't choose other titles that do not catch their attention. That is why it pays to be among the best, said Kishinsky. Ring of Elysium's European servers are finally live. Finally, Ring of Elysium's European servers are live. Before November 23rd, EU players played in NA servers, subjecting them to log. In his team post, Tencent announced receiving reports about EU servers having issues. Tencent assured players to server providers will fix them. Being an early access game yet having dominantly positive reviews on Steam, shows Ring of Elysium is a game of promise. It's in gameplay awards. It's the label, a smooth and fun experience. Now, The Haunted Island, a frog detective game is out now on Steam. The Haunted Island, a frog detective game is now available on Steam, guys. It is about a detective frog trying to solve the mystery of the haunted sloth. It's a quite the bizarre premise for a game. However, a lot of the people seem to like it as the game's leaking on Steam is 97% positive so far. The game is short as players can finish this in just more than an hour. Players must look for clues, interview subjects, and meet strange characters. The game looks promising with its cool sounds and art style. Now let's move on to Star Citizen's free week now underway. Star Citizen's free play week is underway and now is your chance to try it to, or to try out the game and all its 80 plus spaceships, its a planet person and its city lord view. The free week lasts until November 30th. During the free trial, players will start with the Kudla's black ship and will be able to rent other ships by flying to Lorville and walking around the convention center where players will see ships available for rent. Players get to try ships from specific manufacturers for a period of 24 hours. Now let's go to Batman Arkham Collection, launches November 27. Apparently, a new Batman Arkham build, uh, bundle called Batman Arkham Collection will be arriving on November 27. This will include Batman Akram Asylum, Batman Akram City, as well as the Batman Akram Knight, all fully remastered with possible 4K and HDR support. Actually, there is no official announcement about this uh, from Warner Brothers or Rocksteady. So, uh, the report did not give any information about the platforms, but it will be available on so we are not 100% sure if this will really happen.
Now, another Cyberpunk 2077 update. Explorable huge buildings will be available in Cyberpunk 2077. CD Projekt Red made the announcement via Facebook. However, the exact size will not be revealed. They did say that there will be more than one tall building in Night City and all these buildings will be explorable and it will also have uh, some activities in it. This will also make Cyberpunk 2077's world much more huge as the exploration has been extended to upwards as well as downwards. Cyberpunk 2077 will be launching in 2019. And now guys, we're down to our last update for the special loop. That's our Okishop deal of the day. And it's time for today's featured deal. Today we have the award-winning platformer in between, which currently has the best price of 59 cents in our price comparison. On Steam, this game retails at 8 euro and 99 cents. So if you get this today through our price comparison or one of our trusted stores, you'll save 93%. Wow, so to get more of these featured deals of the day, just type the command exclamation mark deal in the stream chat. And of course, guys, to get the best prices, use our price comparison only at alkishop.com.